Oh yeah, I can. Um, I actually goes back to my uh, times in high school, or in German you say gymnasium, in high school, um, where I was fascinated in how does life work, what is life, um, from the from the eyes of a chemist. So uh, as a chemist, I, uh, I'm I'm re deeply interested in understanding how atoms and bonds between atoms induce function. And um, I learned in biology how the DNA a double helix looks like, but I couldn't understand this. But only my chemist teacher could tell me how you understand the DNA double helix, because I wanted to know why do these two parts come together. And it was the chemist that told me why and not the biologist. I want to understand life on chemical atomistic matter. And then I was very lucky to get to know uh, the very best NMR spectroscopist that is that there is, probably Christian Kriesinger at the time. And he made me understand that by NMR I can look at the, at the positions of atoms uh, and their fluctuations at unprecedented detail. And this is what I want to know. I want to understand life on the basis of how atoms uh, react and how they move in time, you know. This fluctuations. This in this fluctuations of atoms is where life is. And it's not in being static, it's in being dynamic. And um, I'm very um, grateful that you know I had the chance to uh, to be in, involved with this in, into this game. If you really want to win uh, the jackpot, you go into NMR. If you really want to uh, challenge yourself, you go into NMR because you have to understand physics, you have to understand biology and chemistry, no less than that. If you want to uh, to be soft on you, you go into other fields. So, um, so it is a great challenge. Um, we need the best. And if you go to NMR, you really understand fundamentally what's going on. You can win the jackpot. It's as easy as this. I, I, I'm not following along the notion of that NMR has not uh, sufficient attention. Um, for me, it's a little loser argument. Um, if I uh, admit that I'm not in the attention score, then um, I always ha almost have already lost the battle. So it's, it's, it's complaining without uh, reason to complain. Um, I can tell you 1,000 success stories of NMR that uh, no other technique could uh, provide you. Um, and um, so, <laughs> NMR is as powerful and as strong as ever, or even more strong than ever. I don't buy the, uh, uh, the question uh, of, of any deficiency in, in the technology. When it comes to the dynamic positioning of atoms to understand function that is in the function of the virus, you have to do NMR. Also, if you want to answer the question, why is the BioNTech uh, uh, vaccine only um, stable at minus 70 degrees, while the Moderna is at minus 20? If you want to understand the question, you have to do NMR. So it's as easy as this. So, I don't know where the deficiencies are. <laughs>